Hello everybody and welcome to my new comparison video. Which pilot will be the best choice for your Skyros, Roberto or Tezois? This I want to show you in this comparison video here today. Both are strong but which pilot will be my favorite? Before we start it would be great to give a thumb up under this video here, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Okay, let's start with the pilot Tezois with the skill Reborn in combat. The defenses of Skyros in ball form are immune to defense mutation and this is great against titans and other weapons. So the defense system is very high in this example here. I can show you how strong it is against Titans. I use here the Paralysis drone because of the yeah, damage increase. And we can get this Skyros down here. There are so many other options to play with the Skyros robot. We have the Nebula and other drones with more defense points then, but for me, the paralysis works very well. Let's have a look why. Look at this damage I can do. Two times damage increase, so 70% more damage to my sonic weapons here. And we got the first titan down with this setup. And the bow mode helps very much here and then we got the second one. So with the Paralysis drone I have the ability to lock down my enemy and yeah having both of these skills I think is very impressive. If you want you can use the white out drone for this too. And here in combination with the Nebula um, I have a lot of defense points but the firepower isn't anymore so high but then you can use the robot as yeah beacon capture robot like in this case here I tried it out and then let's see how much damage we can deal with um, Sonics and the Nebula in this match yeah here the whole team play very great together you saw this a lot of Orochis at first the beacon here with my teammate let's give us a shield from the spaceship and then let's do damage to those robots here and now the combination with the binded Capri the Nebula drone with um, the defense points uh, ships and the pilot is very great and useful to play this robot but attention, uh, you have to decide which setup you will play, um, Paralysis Drone or the Nebula Drone. Um, with the Paralysis you have the problem when there are a Capri with the Mizaki and Ponchi pilot in combination with the Beak Drone, then yeah, that can be really tough and dangerous for you. And yeah, with the Nebula you don't even have this effect, you have massive defense points and can yeah help your teammates like in this case here stand at the beacon hold the beacon and yeah that is what we need in the game and now let's join Roberto okay scavenger technology is the skill name when switching to attack mode Skyros activates a suppression effect reducing the outgoing damage of all enemies within 100 meters that is a great effect when you try to capture a beacon with this robot here then yeah this can help you much going out of your ability and doing damage and then going back to the ability with the defense points and when you have the right drone with you nebula beak or white out or maybe the paralysis drone like me here then yeah, you can do an amazing job, amazing damage and that is what we need to get the enemy fast down. But there's a bad point of this pilot when there are the Kibris with the 
Izaki and Ponchi pilot and there is the big drone equipped on this one. Then you have a huge problem capturing a beacon and yeah, in my league uh, this happened often because then there are two or three keepies and then they can do an amazing damage because you pimp them up with the pilot's ability and yeah that is the reason why I don't use Roberto I will ever use Tezoi still now because yeah I love to have this extra defense when I am in ball mode and in combination with a Nebula drone or I prefer the Paralyzer drone because of the more damage I have some brawlers in my hangar so I don't need a third one and here you can see this damage is amazing and yeah this is only a tip from me um, try to play the Tezois pilot with the Skyros robot and then in combination with the Paralyzer drone or the Nebula then you will be good and you can capture beacons and that is what we need to win games and another good thing in ball mode if you have a beacon then you can hold it for a long long time yeah going out of your ability of the rolling ability doing damage and then going back and stay every time on the beacon here boom 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 and this is a well played and very strong fenrir you can see this here so i decided going back to cover and try to capture the home beacon here of the enemy yeah that worked well So at all, maybe if you are in a lower league where aren't so much key breeze and big combinations, then try um, this Roberto pilot here. It helps you much. It can help you in a good way. But if you are in higher league, I prefer, like I said before, the Tezois pilot. Then the chance to upgrade all these key breeze with their ability and yeah, the damage increase of 70% more for 10 seconds yeah, isn't In the end, thank there. you all for watching my video here. Thank you for watching my comparison about the two pilots for the Skyros robots. Hopefully I can help you here a little bit with the decision which pilot will be better and I showed you the option what you can do. Damage build, defense build. Yeah, all the things and I showed you the bad things about the pilots. So if you like this one, please give a thumb up under this video here. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Then you never will miss any of my giveaways, live streams or the comparison videos. Have a wonderful weekend everyone. Bye bye and good luck. Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep